Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my review of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. This is obviously it's the second book in the Harry Potter series and I love this book as much as I loved it the first time I read it. You know this is my fifth time rereading it. All the plot points just blow me away every single time. There's just so many things I loved about this book and yeah I love the character development. We I, the great thing about the series is we get to see our main characters, Harry, Hermione, and Ron, grow up um, through the seven books. So, in the first book, they're obviously only 11 years old. By the end of the series, and in book seven, The Deathly Hallows, they are 17, and it's just crazy. I mean, they grew up so much in this book. My favorite character, by far, in this book, and we only get to see his appearance in a few other books, and that is Debbie the House Elf. I love Debbie. He makes me laugh. He makes me cry. You know, it's just, fan he's a fantastic character, um, and a lot of people love him, and, uh, spoiler for the Deathly Hallows, um, Debbie's death did make me cry the most out of any of the deaths in Harry Potter. He, his death made me cry the most. That's not until the, uh, Deathly Hallows, so that's another five bucks away. Um, my favorite quote by Debbie is actually in this book, and that is when um, Harry freed him from the uh, grasp of the Malfoys at the end of the book, and he says, D "Master has given Debbie clothes. Debbie is free." That book, that quote, just makes me cry every time. I have to be honest. Um, but I love Debbie. Uh, I have to be honest. Uh, Gilroy Lockhart annoyed the crap out of me <laughs> in this book. Um, and I agree, that's probably another reason why it just went down lower on my ratings skill. I gave, again, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, but, again, there was some parts that I didn't really like. Um, the concept of the Chamber of Secrets gave me the chills. It does every single time I reread the books or watch the movies for, like, the 20th time. You know, with the writing on the wall saying, The Chamber of Secrets has been opened, enemies of the air, beware gave me the chills, and the, and then the Vasculus, um, in a, in the final encounter between Harry and, um, Tom Riddle, oh my gosh, it's crazy, um, even in the movie, it creeps me out, um, even rereading the series for the fifth time, um, I still can't believe Jimmy, Jenny was the one who opened the Chamber of Secrets, obviously she didn't know what she was doing, she was under control by Tom Riddle, Obviously, she didn't have a clue what she was doing, and that is just crazy with the diary and everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad Harry did destroy the diary in the end. As you think that Ginny is an innocent girl, she doesn't know any better. Obviously, again, she didn't know what she was doing. Um, another one of my favorite quotes was in this book from the entire series, and it's actually, actually, it's not in the book, but it is in the movie. Um, and that was when, um, Neville, they're in the classroom with Professor Lockhart, and they have the um, Cornish Pixies earlies. And the very end of that scene, like in the movie, Neville says, "Why is it always Why is it always me?" And that's like my favorite quote of all time from the series. Um, and then I always say I already mentioned the quote W said at the end of the book, and that makes me just bring tears of joy to my eyes. So overall, I really did enjoy rereading this book for the fifth time. Again, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, um, and I think it's just fantastic. If you guys haven't read this series, then please go read it. It's just fabulous. I highly recommend it. I didn't start reading it until I was a teenager. I was, I think, 13 when I started re re reading it, and I still love it to this day. Six years later, my parents, my mom is rereading the series. She's on Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm on Half Blood Prince right now. And it's just a fantastic series. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you are new to my channel, I, I film videos and upload them every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And um, that's just for right now. I will be going back to school in a couple weeks, but I'm doing that in a completely different video. And uh, I will talk to you guys on Monday for my next video. So have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.